Welcome, welcome! It's Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. I thought I would share with you another cargo trading route uh, that is fairly popular and you can make a pretty good amount of money on it as well. Uh, though this trip I didn't make as much as I would prefer. Uh, of course, it's not my favorite cargo run, but it is a pretty decent one. Uh, I did just get back from celebrating my uh, anniversary with my wife. Uh, we've been together for 11 years and married five. Uh, so we went down south and had some real good fun. Uh, went to a couple places down by the water and uh, we really enjoyed ourselves. And I am dragging butt from it now. <laughs> I'm pretty exhausted. I've got to go back to work tomorrow. And that's going to be a fun, interesting experience, to say the least. Uh, but I did want to get out another video tonight while I had the chance. And I'm hoping I'll still have time to get one out tomorrow as well. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're going to talk about more than just this cargo run in this video, as you are probably uh, familiar with in some of my videos here lately. When things get towards the end of a patch and towards the beginning of another one, uh, we, we tend to talk about a little bit of everything uh, as a lot of the content has been seen or talked about already. So 310, as you could probably guess, has been kind of delayed from going to Wave 1. I was predicting it would be out Friday-ish, but that's sadly not the case. Uh, hopefully by the middle of this next week we will see 310 in the PTU and I'll have it in my hands and I'll be able to bring you guys some videos on that. So one of the bonuses to it being delayed is I'm no longer out of town and I should be able to get those videos out fairly early for you guys so you don't have to wait to see everything um, unless you just don't want it to be spoiled for when you get to see it yourself. Uh, so as far as this mining part of the video, this mining route. I started at Port Alisar, uh, just picked up my ship, the Pirate Caterpillar, and I'm flying over to Selen, which is one of the moons around Crusader. And we're gonna go over to Tram and Myers. Many of you guys already know where Tram and Myers is because this is a very popular destination for cargo haulers. One of the big things with Tram and Myers is there's no landing pads there. So a big ship like the Caterpillar here, you're just going to have to make do with, uh, you know, finding space to put her down. Because um, it is a rather, I guess, rocky area. And you're going to kind of have to be careful and pick your place to, to land. And, uh, you know, I, I got fairly fortunate on my first try here, finding a good spot to set it down and go into the station to buy all the mineable ore that I want. Uh, so what do they have at Tram and Myers? You know, they have Laronite, they have Diamond, they have Titanium. All of those are going to bring you a decent profit uh, depending on what ship you have. Obviously, a smaller ship, if you've got the funds, or, and a bigger ship, if you've got the funds, you want to load up on Laronite. The problem is, is at least this video, is that somebody, or for some reason, I couldn't complete the cargo hold full of Laronite. Uh, well, I mean, I don't have the money to do it for starters, but I couldn't s use all my money on Laronite, which, by the way, don't ever use all your money. <laughs> I, I do that consistently in a lot of my videos because I'm not too worried about building it back up. Uh, but uh, I did have some issues here where I thought I was going to 30K. Uh, things kind of stalled out on me, and it gave me a little bit of a scare at times. Uh, you know, I didn't want to lose all my money when I was transporting all that cargo so definitely do not spend all your money on getting cargo do what I say don't do what I do <laughs> uh, I I really you know if I do lose all my money I will bring you guys you know a series of videos on how to build it back up even though I've already kind of brought you some of those videos I'll show you how I do it uh, if, if I go down completely to zero so that's just something to keep in mind I'm a content creator and I can use the excuse of losing all my money to bring more content to you guys now I'm not gonna try to do it on purpose uh, you know that that wouldn't be that, to me that's not fun <laughs> I don't really want to start over from scratch but if I have to I will and I'll make some videos about it uh, 
so again, do not spend all your money on your cargo runs uh, because you don't want to lose it all. Uh, so yeah, just be mindful of how much money you have and how much you should spend. And I would say leave a good portion, you know, at least a quarter of your funds in your, you know, bank account, so to speak, so that you know you have some left to build back up from. Uh, so we're going to go here into Tram and Myers. And Tram and Myers can be confusing if you've never been in there on trying to find where the console is. Because the console is not in the same place that you would find it like Ariel or uh, Bezdek or even the Shuban Mining. It's right over here to the left once you get into the main part of the facility. And of course, you know, clicking and clicking, there we go, the Caterpillar. So you see it's got Titanium, Laronite, and Diamond. All of those are going to be worth some decent amount of credits if you have something that can haul it. So, again, the smaller ships, you probably want to go with the higher value mineral or ore, which is going to be your Laronite. Uh, then Titanium's a little bit further down the list, and then Diamond. Uh, if you're in a Caterpillar, you could probably fill up more of your hold with the cheaper stuff, obviously, as long as you have the money for it. And you may end up making a higher profit off of it, depending on how much you're putting in. Uh, I was just trying to, to make a little extra bread, so to speak, and, you know, show you guys how to make money on another trade route. Now, there's one more that I really like, one more trade route I really like to do, and that's going to Walla and then back to Area 18. Again, I find that the Hurston route for me is probably the quickest. Here you can see uh, the game kind of stalled out on me. I was praying that I wouldn't get a 30k. <laughs> so it was kind of relieving when that didn't happen. Uh, I was still a little worried because from Selen here on Tram and, My Tram and Myers on Selen, I have to fly to Hurston and go to Lorville. Uh, that's going to be the best place to sell this from this particular uh, starting point here. So as we travel towards Hurston, let's talk a little bit more about 310 and some of the other things going on. I would like to point out uh, Star Citizen Leaks. They have had a Discord for quite a while and they post up a lot of cool, fun little leaks on the website that talk about things that are coming down the uh, pipeline and so but a lot of times it's sooner rather than later uh, you know they were where I got the tips about the Odin which probably quite a ways off we don't know when that one's coming uh, but they also talked about the gray cap mining vehicle which will definitely be in 310 and I have seen several screenshots and videos of it it's a pretty neat little buggy uh, I, I kind of like it uh, from what I hear it's gonna be about $50 war bond and 55 with store credit um, of course it will have LTI because it's a brand new ship or vehicle so something to keep your eyes peeled for when 310 does finally launch uh, that's something that some of you may want some of you may not it'll fit anywhere that you can put a tumbrel cyclone so that's probably like in the back of a freelancer max uh, cutty black uh, you know of course your bigger ships such as a star fair uh, you know the the uh, Valkyrie, of course, the 890 Jump, the 600i, uh, those all are, you know, all the constellations. Those are all ships that will be able to carry it. Uh, you know, anything like I said that can hold a rover, not a rover, a uh, tumbrel cyclone, will be able to hold the buggy with no problem. Uh, so what else is coming down the line? Uh, well, you know, they gave us a real cool tour today on the javelin so guys go check that out on YouTube uh, those guys do a lot of good work there and they should definitely be recognized for what they do uh, they it, the guys name for the leaks that run the leaks channel are uh, execute and hater and then they also had special guest today uh, piggy or P so, something along those lines Anyways, they, they walked around the Javelin, and it was pretty cool to see a lot of the insides. The one that they walked around, it wasn't fully complete, but they have a much more complete version uh, that is, uh, you know, in CIG hands right now. Uh, so that's something to look forward to eventually, but they did say don't expect 
to have that in player hands until Squadron 42 comes out. Pretty much the same thing with the Idris. Uh, we also got to see the Kraken asset. Uh, really, Kraken hasn't been touched since they did the commercial, so and they don't really expect that to be worked on anytime soon. Uh, they had a lot of good information on their webpage, so definitely go check them out as well. Um, here we see that I'm flying into Loreville here. Uh, <laughs> couple of guys in my org uh, have a really cool role play storyline going on about how uh, Hurston the family Hurston has pretty much cheated them out of life and liberty and they kind of want to have a you know do a hit on one of the Hurstons so it's it's pretty funny uh, I really like that aspect of this game is you know that's something that I'm looking forward to is the role play aspect and you're going to come up with there's going to be a lot of really cool uh, scenarios where people are role playing different things and it's, it's going to be a lot of fun to see uh, so you know if you want to be han solo you can role play as han solo uh, different things like that or if you want to be bubba fett you can role play kind of yourself as a, as a bubba fett kind of character uh, so don't be scared to interact with people in a role play type setting uh, everybody's pretty good natured in star citizen there's only a few uh, people that you'll run across every once in a while that uh, are are not the coolest of folks. Uh, speaking of cool folks, my org is Texas. We are always looking for new recruits, and we would love for you to come join us if you are also a cool person. A lot of great people in the org. They're very friendly. They're very helpful, especially you know if you're new to the game or there's something you don't understand how to do. Uh, you know, our Discord's a really good place for resources for that uh, or to interact with people. Um, they're pretty active there. We're really active in the game as well. So if you want to join our org, that information will be in the description down below. And here you can see I am going to sell my goods and the Lair Knight's going to sell for like, what, 465000 So that's a pretty good take. Uh, I'll take that for sure. And, uh... Then that titanium is going to sell for over 300000 as well. So let's see how much it is. 316000 So it's a pretty good uh, run for me. I can't complain too much. Uh, also, if you're new to this game and it looks like a game you might want to be get into, I have a referral code down below. Make sure you use that referral code. You'll get 5,000 bonus credits. Helps you, helps me. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you liked this video. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'm Muddog with the Texas Space Navy. I'll see you out in the verse.